assalamu alaikum uh, everyone today i am going to demonstrate you how we can download moods land surface temperature data and process it in arc uh, gis uh, so far uh, we have to download the data we will use uh, riverb eco website and there you can uh, go to data selection and type in uh, your data first of all you need to sign in uh, for your account so that you are able to download the data. If you don't have the sign in there or you don't have created the username there, you can register and within uh, 24 hours you will get one username and password. So first of all, uh, you go to the uh, website and you select the data. Here I am going to show you mode 11 data which is uh, Moody's land surface temperature data of weekly. Here you have to select the date. I am starting from 1st June to 1st July 2016. And then uh, you select your desired study area. My study area is Kashmir Valley. So I have, I am making one bounding box over the valley. So that is uh, the data will cover that study area. Here you can see uh, four data sets are selected. Here I am going to use the latest data which is mod 11A2 uh, this is version 6 data and you have to click search for granules and uh, here it will be your data will be shown I will select uh, two data sets and add them to my cart and from there you can view your items in cart and you can uh, select the data which you want to download. Uh, note that uh, here if you will download the data only the URL of the data will get download. After that you have to copy that URL into your browser or whatever uh, download manager you are using. Paste that URL there and just click download and your data will get download. So here the data gets downloaded. Now I will use ArcGIS. Uh, note that uh, this uh, the data format is HDF, which is hierarchical disk format. It will work uh, in ArcGIS version 9.3 or above. First of all, I will uh, view the data. Here you can see the data and all the 11 subsets in the data. I will select the entire time data set. Here you can see the data set. Now. I need to reproject the data because if you will see here uh, its projection is different uh, I need to project it according to my study area so first of all we need to project the data into our desired uh, projection for that you will go to data management tools or uh, there is one option projection and transformations and there you can project your data set. selecting my data set which is uh, zone 43 north okay it is done it will take some time so I am pausing the video for a few seconds So here you can see the projected data but uh, there the attribute table is missing. So first of all we need to build the attribute of uh, this file. Here we will go to raster uh, properties and there you can see the option build attribute table. Now the attribute table will be there. Here I have paused the video and meanwhile I have added my study area which is Kashmir Valley. Actually I need to extract the data of my study area. So you can use your shape file or whatever study area you have and you can use that data to clip the data. And 
simply you will go to clip and in give the directory projected file as input file and desired output is uh, this your uh, shape file the steady area shape file here you will see this data file the steady area data now we have to actually see the data we will check the info of the data and also looking into the data it looks uh, nice data now only we will see its attributes and what information there it is giving so we will click info and see here you can see that uh, the information about temperature is missing only the pixel values here so what we will do we will use uh, the scaling factor uh, for this lst data it is uh, 0.02 we will add one table and then multiply the pixel value with the scale value so, the, so that uh, that value will be converted to degree celsius for degree celsius we have to multiply the value by the scale factor and minus 273.15 because the value will be in kelvins if we will not uh, minus it by 273.15 so here temperature is called value into 0 0.02 minus 273.15 and here you can see that the temperature value will get generated and when you click info and this temperature value will be visible here thank you for watching the video in next video i will be demonstrating how we can automatically uh, do this technique using a uh, model builder